in this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple workspaces in Ubuntu Mate. One of the nicest features of Ubuntu Mate is the use of multiple desktops or workspaces. It is also known as virtual desktops. Now you can locate these virtual desktops by looking on your lower panel in the lower right hand corner, also known as the lower taskbar. You can see these lower rectangles are called workspaces. The one that I have my mouse pointer on is called workspace 1. The one to the right is workspace 2. The one to the left, uh, to the right of that is workspace 3. And the one to the right of that is workspace 4. These four workspaces you can use as four separate monitors. They're not actual real monitors. They're virtual monitors. That's why it's also called a virtual workspace. You can switch between them back and forth as if they were actual four monitors. Being that workspace one is the active computer screen that you're looking at. If you notice on my panel or my uh, taskbar, you'll see that I have multiple applications running at one time. Now I used to teach sixth grade science, so I have some documents that I created that's still in some folders uh, on my computer. And I'm going to use those as an examples of how this could benefit me as a teacher and how it could benefit you organizing the files that you work with maybe on a daily uh, every now and then basis to where it keeps them organized and not clutter cluttersome. All right, I'm going to open up my separate applications. Let's say that I'm at the end of reviewing some material for a unit and it's time for my students to take a test. Some of the things that we reviewed with some vocabulary words and I'm using some of the vocabulary words and I'm looking back over these to make sure I'm including them on the test. Now sometimes it's very easy to switch between your tabs back and forth but sometimes you get so many tabs open you might click on something accidental and it just becomes cluttersome on your taskbar. A way that you can organize these and notice before I go any further the name of my test is Plate Tectonics Volcanoes Earthquakes and Soil. I know that this topic of what I'm, my test has nothing to do with the video, but if you notice here, plate tectonics and volcano, these vocabularies relate to the Earth's plate boundaries. If I take this one, I'm currently working in workspace one. I'm gonna take my earthquakes boundaries and if I right click on it, I can highlight where it says move to another workspace and I can move it to the workspace to the right, which is putting it in workspace two. Now with my mouse I can take and click on workspace 2 and that's the only thing open on the taskbar is the vocabulary that I put in workspace 2. Everything else is still currently in workspace 1. If I click back to workspace 1 I still have my other vocabularies along with my test and my Google Chrome where I was working on the web page and my simple screen recorder where I'm recording this video. Alright the next one is earthquakes. Here's earthquakes the vocabulary. Again I can do it just as I did the first vocabulary and I can move it but instead of moving it to the next workspace being two of them in there I can move it to workspace three. I can right click say move to workspace three and as you can see down here in the lower right of your panel I'll click on it. This is workspace three. The only thing in workspace three is earthquakes. I can go back to my workspace one and I have one last vocabulary. Earthquakes was the last one. This one is soil. So here's my vocabulary on soil. To keep it nicely, neatly organized, I can right click on soil. I can say move to workspace four. And now the only thing that I have on my current workspace one is my test that I'm creating, uh, my web page, and my simple screen recorder. It reduced the clutter on my taskbar or my panel. If I look, remember plate tectonics and volcanoes, I go to my next workspace, workspace two. I can scroll down. I can look at what I need and I don't have all the clutter. I can go back to my test. If I want to look for something with earthquakes, I can go to workspace three. I can look through and find what I need from earthquakes, go back to my test, or to make sure that I've covered it, I can look at it. And finally, to cover soil vocabulary, I can go to workspace four and I can look through workspace four and I can go back to my workspace one and continue working on my test. So when you're working with virtual desktops, it's like I said at the very beginning of the video, 
It's very similar to working with four different monitors without actually having your computer hooked to actual monitors. Now, I can put them back into the original uh, Workspace One by doing it very similar to what I did when I moved them to the Workspace. I can right click on it. I can say Move to Workspace One. But notice, now since I'm in these additional workspaces, notice I've got something extra in my new dialog box. I can now move the workspace down, or I can move it up. Moving it up will move it to workspace one. Moving it down will move it to workspace three, because I'm currently in workspace two. Notice I'm gonna say move it down. I now no longer have anything in workspace two. If I go to workspace one, I still don't have my vocabulary. If I go to workspace three, I now have the earthquakes and boundaries, or earth plates, boundaries, and earthquakes, because I moved it down. So if I wanted to go back, I can say move it up, moving it back to workspace two, and I can say move it up again, and it moves it back to my original workspace one, putting it back in the same location it was at when it was originally in my first workspace. So I can do the same thing here. I can say move up, but if I keep doing it from workspace three and four, I'm gonna to have to go through several clicks. So it's quicker to say, move to another workspace and choose workspace one. Now there's nothing in my workspace two, there's nothing in my workspace three, and if I click on workspace four, I can right click, say move to another workspace, choose workspace one, and now everything is back into my original workspace. Just as if you knew nothing about these workspaces and you were trying to organize everything on your individual monitor. It's just like it was when I started the video. My earth plate boundaries is the first tab, the second one is earthquakes, the third one is soil, and then I have my test. Now you can switch, and I put this on my website, so eventually I'm going to put the video down here at the very bottom, but if you look, I got a mate tip. It says if you have several windows open, and I do, in the same workspace, and I do, I have them in my workspace one, you can switch between them by using the Alt and Tab key. I've got this one active. If I press the Alt key, Alt key at the same time I press the tab, I can move to a new active window. Notice, well I brought up my simple sync screen recorder because that's another window uh, or task that's at the bottom. I wasn't thinking about that, but you saw that it brought up another task by pressing down the Alt key while pressing Tab, I did move to another active window. That's one of the shortcuts. There are some shortcuts within the workspaces, and I'm not gonna click on those because of the limited space I have here, but there are some shortcut keys. You can switch between workspace by holding down Control and Alt and press the right arrow or left arrow. So if I want to move from workspace one to workspace two, I press control alt and press the right arrow key and I move to the right. Control alt right key again moves again to the right. Or control alt left arrow moves back to the left. Now I'm not moving anything. I'm just actually going changing my workspaces. If I wanted to change the active document within that workspace, if I hold down the shift key, control alt, and then use the right or left arrows, it takes me right or left, not only am I changing my workspace, I'm also moving the active document with me. So using the shortcut keys is nice to a lot of people, but my favorite is by using the mouse. And I say this on my website, and eventually this video will go at the very bottom of that location that you saw on my website. So this is just a brief description for those of you that are new to Ubuntu Mate and you're not used to having the workspaces or virtual desktops, this allows you to work in an area to where you can keep your desktop kind of organized, nice and neat. And it makes it easier to switch between the material so that it's easier and quicker to find the material that you're looking for. I hope this was some help to you.